another Premier League str side struggling with profit and sustainability rules, Nottingham Forest. Now, their appeal against their four points deduction for breaking those financial rules will be heard next week. Our chief reporter, Carve Solokol, joins me now to discuss this. Carve, good to see you. How have we got to this with Nottingham Forest? Well, they were deducted four points for breaking the Premier League's financial rules. Uh, basically, they were found guilty of overspending by £34.5 million for the three seasons ending at the end of season 2022-2023. And that is why they were deducted four points. But they've decided to appeal. That appeal will be heard next week. Now, I think the reason clubs like Everton and Forest are appealing is because, of course, in the first Everton case, we saw that they appealed against a 10-point deduction and they got four of those points back. So these clubs are now thinking they're involved in the relegation battle at the bottom of the table and it is so important for them to stay in the Premier League because it's so lucrative for clubs to be in the Premier League that they will try whatever it takes to make sure that they stay in the Premier League. And Forest, for instance, are just one point above the relegation zone. So they want to get some points back, if at all possible. And we heard from their manager last week. He said that he feels uh, these points deductions are affecting the integrity of the league, but the team will do whatever it takes to stay in the league because of their performances on the pitch. And I'm sure that's what Sean Dyche would say as well. OK, can these deductions only go one way, though? Could they actually get more points added? If you go to an appeal? Yeah. Technically, you could. Uh, these appeals are heard by a new three-person panel. You can't introduce any new evidence into uh, the appeal in front of the commission. But they do have the power to increase the punishment as well as reduce it. So that is a risk you are taking. Uh, but, of course, in the past, we haven't seen them increase uh, the punishment. What sort of impact is this going to have on the end of the season and that relegation battle? Well, look, um, I think it is confusing. Uh, you know, the league table should be the league table. It should reflect what's happened on the pitch. Three points for a win, one point for a draw. Of course, now we're seeing uh, the Premier League table. Everton, Forest have been deducted points. They're appealing as well. It is a confusing picture and it could lead to a situation where we have the final match day on the 19th of May and we don't know who's staying up, who's going down because, according to the Premier League rulebook, the appeals process has to be completed by the 24th of May, which is five days after the final match day. But the sense I'm getting is that everybody involved in these processes will do whatever it takes to make sure that the process is complete before the final match day. So I think we will have a decision in the Forest appeal case, we will have a decision uh, in the Everton appeal case before the final match day of the season. Final point I would make to you is, what's really interesting is, of course, Sunday is Everton versus Nottingham Forest at Goodison Park. It's almost the PSR derby. <laughs> and those, both those sides will be waiting to find out what is happening with their points deductions. But I think the message from the two managers to the players will be loud and clear. Forget what is going on off the pitch. Just focus on winning this very, very important game uh, at Goodison on Sunday.